burp, 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 <laughs> in Crocker Island. <laughs> Welcome back to our stinky little show that we have on the internet, reviewing music and seeing if it is good though. Yeah. My name is Daniela. <laughs> I'm here with my friend who calls himself... Me. Yep, me. <laughs> <laughs> and we're here again to talk about music that's come out. Before we get into that, tell me, what have you been listening to over the past week? The original founding member, the last one, of Leonard Skinner, recently died. Okay. Uh, Gary Rossington. So I've been listening to a lot of that, just because it had been a while and it refreshed my memory. And it was like, yeah, this is this is actually good. And then last night I was listening to the new Miley Cyrus album. Oh, right, I didn't even... Oh, yeah, she has that one with flowers on it. Yeah, I've... Endless Summer Vacation. I've heard flowers, but I've not heard anything else. Maybe that's one for next week. Is that, mm. like, brand new out? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm assuming Stay so. Stay yeah. tuned for that one. And I've just been listening to In the Court of the Crimson King by King Crimson. Yeah. It's a Stephen King book I'm currently reading. The main villain in that is the Crimson King. How about you? I have been listening to Public Enemy. Which one? Fear of the Black Planet. Mm. Yeah. It was a banger. Really mm. enjoyed that. And the day before was, oh, I can't remember the name, like a, a jazz pioneer. I can't remember. I'll put it on the screen. It was Bad. really awful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hated it. Put it on Instagram. Basically like a blanket of people saying, you idiot, this is such a good album. Went on to rateyourmusic.com, which is where I put all of my reviews, and it's ranked the 16th best album ever released. People just are idiots when it comes to jazz. Yeah. Well, that'll bring us anyway to the some the poor segue, but what we've been listening to this week. It is the album... Cracker Island by Gorillaz. Yes. The animal. We, we messed up our format then, because I usually say it's by Gorillaz and the album's called, and you say it. Make oh. it fresh. Yeah, shake it up a bit. <laughs> Cracker Island. See if we Island. can improve on those 38 subscribers. Yeah, that's not happening. I know. Tell me any preconceptions about Gorillaz. I'd only heard a few singles by them, and I'd completely forgotten what they were called until I looked them up. Uh, Clint Eastwood. Feel um, good, Inc., but you've heard that. Yeah. And, it's uh, there. Yeah. yeah, and I did like them, to be fair, but I just never wanted to listen to any more. Okay. Well, it's not that I didn't want to, I just never bothered yeah. to listen to any more. I was like, yeah, they're fair. Like, it's fun. It's some cartoon band. It's a bit different. Yeah. But I'd, I'd also been put off by the fact that the main guy is the guy out of Blur. Yeah. Which I don't really like. So, yeah. How about you? Very similarly to what you said. Well, I had the album Demon Days as a kid, which is the one with, I think, all three of those songs, maybe. And I really enjoyed that album. Dirty Harry was also another one that stands oh, yeah, out. Do you know that one? Kids with Guns as well. That was a good one. Since then, I hadn't heard much by them. I guess just through life getting in the way and not realising different albums come out. I was surprised by how many albums they'd had. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when Plastic Beach came out, I heard the song Stylo from that and it didn't really take me in. Mm. And then I didn't look into anything else that was on Plastic Beach. So I don't know how good that album was. Maybe listening to Stylo now, I would think differently of it, but I heard it once and just thought, it's not doing anything for me. Yeah. But I would still say that from Demon Days... I was still looking forward to listening to this this week because it's an album that I really liked when I was younger. Yeah. And, yeah. I don't really know what to expect, but when I read reviews of it, apparently this isn't a very special Gorillaz album. It's like, uh, this is just what they do, apparently. It's like nothing groundbreaking for a Gorillaz album. Okay. And when I compared it, when I compared this album to what I had heard before, I wasn't able to reconcile those older tracks to this. Yeah. I, I would say it sounds quite different to Demon Days. Yeah. Not drastically different, but it's not like they've gone from grindcore into K-pop. No. But when that first track, the uh, title track, isn't it, Cracker Island? Yeah. Um, when that came on, I was like, this isn't what I was expecting at all. All right. Because it was a lot more fast-paced, where I was always associated. Like Clint Eastwood and very slow, isn't Yeah, it? that's what I always associate Gorillaz with. Thoughts on the album overall? Yeah, it was good. Yeah. Yeah, really good. It was. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, just, I don't know, it was just like a nice eclectic mix. Um, I, don't, I wouldn't even be able to say really what style it was. See, I googled this because I wasn't sure. I was saying to my partner, like, what genre would you consider them to be? And she said she doesn't know. And I googled it and they're generally considered art pop. 
I don't know what that means. And I don't know if they have ever said that themselves or if it's just people that have just said it's art pop. Art pop. I'm just thinking about something that I did read on them. And it said that they were created at first as like a comment on how superficial music is. Mm. So maybe that's why. Yeah, I guess that kind of makes sense. God, that's hipster. (laughs) (laughs) I'll say in time, because obviously Eurovision's coming up Mm. and we didn't get tickets, which is devastating. Did you see how long people were waiting? Some guy was on the news and he was like 2,000th in the queue. Yeah. And then he he thought he got through and then didn't. (laughs) Well, like, we had Rach's dad like waiting because we were both in work so he was waiting for us and I said to Rach because obviously with lots of things where you're in a queue for something we're going to be in a queue with everyone from all of Europe for this Mm. so chances are slim but anyway I was saying to her like are there any sort of gimmicky bands from the UK that you think would be good for Eurovision and because I've been listening to this a lot I was thinking well gorillas are a very gimmicky band in that they're cartoon characters yeah. however being a commentary on kind of the superficialness of pop music probably wouldn't enter into Eurovision no <laughs> when Gorillaz first came out as well I was under the impression that they were American right I don't know why it just never struck me as very English they're very English like do you think yeah like the singing in it is very very southern English accented mm. I never got that from it <laughs> I ain't happy Feeling glad I got sunshine in a bag. I never caught that as Southern English. Well, I know you've mentioned it probably, but yeah. <laughs> it just never struck me as that. And I thought, English people can't be this inventive. <laughs> <laughs> Must be American. No, no. Yeah, my thoughts very similarly is that I thought this was a very, very good album. Mm. To the point where I have got it on vinyl now as well oh, in the meantime. God. Because, like, vinyl, <laughs> it's, it's expensive, isn't it? So I only want to buy albums that I really, really enjoy on vinyl. Yeah. And usually, I've said for a lot of these reviews, that I l- try and I aim to listen to an album, like, thrice before doing the review. It's probably been at least ten times I've listened to this album yeah, over the past week. A lot, yeah. So, got it on vinyl. Got it from the, like, official Gorilla store as well, where it was a limited edition one that's, like, translucent purple record. <laughs> <laughs> It looks cool, though. Yeah. <laughs> well, now I'm doing that. I love fine. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, like that in itself just says how much I enjoyed it. Would you ever go and see them live? I'd love to, yeah. I was wondering how that would... How does it's that work? It's changed a lot over the years from what I've seen. So there's some gigs that they did all last year, I think, where it was just all the band on the stage with, like, a screen behind them. Mm. Early days in the band, they played, like behind a curtain and they had a screen as if it was the cartoon characters singing they've done a gig that's worth probably looking at online just for the sake of it where they had holograms of the band on stage playing i thought i'd heard that yeah is that all the time because that would be really expensive yeah so they they do always play live like everyone is there Mm. but it might just be like like if you go and see a musical and the band's in the orchestra pit so they're, they're there, but they're kind of not the focus. It's just dead interesting. You don't see many bands that are like that. No, I probably like that now for some reason. I mean... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they came back and did holograms of themselves. Hatsune Miku is like that. Have I ever shown you Hatsune Miku? Is that the one that is just an AI character? Yeah, yeah it's yeah. like not even real. Yeah. <laughs> so, top three tracks of the album? Oil. Mm-hmm. The, the one, one with... Stevie Nicks in. I um, thought it was strange in that one how they got such a big name with Stevie Nicks in it, but was basically just a backing vocalist. No. Like, the other ones, the people that they were featuring were a focus of the song. Yeah. I still really liked the song, but I thought it probably worth commenting on, because that was a bit unusual. Yeah, I thought it was a weird one. I do like Cracker Island, because it's really catchy. I yeah. like how it's straight into it as well. Yeah. yeah. There's no kind of build-up, it's just... Burr, 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 <laughs> in Cracker Island. <laughs> <laughs> When I first heard that, I thought, am I going to like this or is it going to be like a club thing? Like, right, it's not I mean, club music. No, it's not club music. Um, and then Skinny Ape. Yeah, Skinny Ape's great. I yeah. love that song. The one that's been in my head most over the past week has been Silent Running. Mm. It's one of them where I was like, in my head, I can hear it all the time to the point where it's like, I need something else in here. This <laughs> <laughs> But um, yeah, Silent Running's been my favourite, Skinny Ape as well, and then Tarantula I really like. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, but every song on it I really like. There was no, probably the weakest one on it for me, although I still do really like it, is Tormentor. 
with Bad Bunny. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I didn't really like that one too much. I don't like that style of Latina. Not Latina. Latino. Latino, yeah. <laughs> like rapping. Right. Well, it just reminds me of Pitbull too much. Okay. And he's awful. So I did still like that song, but it's not the one that I would seek out, whereas probably any other song on the album, I would. Mm-hmm. Everything else was really good. I'd agree with that. Yeah. So if you were to put a number on it? Eight and a half. Eight and a half. Mm. Well, it probably goes without saying that I've rushed out to get a limited edition <laughs> record of it, but it was a 10 out of 10 for me. Yeah. And it was a pretty easy 10 out of 10 because I've really, really enjoyed this album over the past week. <laughs> Which means we've now got a new top contender. We have. So What was the old one? Oh, the ratings. The ratings. <laughs> yeah. At least this is a big bump. A band someone's heard of. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, what would that even... 9.25? Is it? Yeah. My saying good. 9.25 <laughs> out of 10. That's some... No one's going to beat that really, are they? That's going to do some going. Yeah. Do some going. It's going to do some going. <laughs> Next. Oh, music is good. Me- yeah. <laughs> that's the whole point of the thing. Yeah. So when I said at the beginning, that's the idea. We found out this week that based on an album from the past week, music is good. Yeah. There we go. Tune in next week. For the album by Miley Cyrus, what is called... Endless Summer Vacation. Excellent. Bye. Have a nice day. Bye.